Now, Kurdish troops say they have uh, partly pushed Islamic State jihadists out of Kobani, a Syrian city right on the border with Turkey. But the fighting is still far from over, and hundreds of refugees are fleeing the area every day. Many reached Turkey before it shut its border last week, but they got a frosty welcome. Dozens of Kurds were handcuffed by police right after crossing into the country. Now, these pictures here are from the Facebook page of one of the detainees who has been held for more than a week now. Turkish security are accusing the refugees, including women and children, of assisting the Kurdish rebels. And some went on a hunger strike for several days at the school gym where they're being held. Several even reportedly fainted, as the pictures suggest. Now, we managed to get a first-hand report right from the gym from the man who took these pictures. The Turkish authorities with police and intelligence detained us in this hall. Just the, uh, all of the doors and the windows are closed. We have journalists with us. We uh, just uh, we have uh, a doctor, drivers, car drivers. Uh, we have lawyers. Uh, we have uh, merchants. You know, uh, from different profession. And uh, I do confirm that all of them are civilians. Now, uh, you know, the Turkish authorities say you are fighters of YPG. Fighters of YPG are supposed to be in fighting ISIS, not here in Turkish state. An Islamic State has forced thousands of civilians from the Yazidi minority to flee their homes in Iraqi Kurdistan. Human rights groups say hundreds have been massacred in cold blood, while women and girls have been taken as slaves. Artis Paula Slear had the chance to meet the sister of one of these captives. <laughs> For nearly a month now, Amira has been living a nightmare. Ever since her sister secretly managed to phone her and terrifyingly whisper that she was in the hands of ISIS. Amira's sister is one of thousands of Yazidi young women and teenage girls who've been enslaved by ISIS. Human Rights Watch confirms that the jihadists systematically separated the girls from the Yazidi community, a minority Kurdish religious group. Their fates are slowly becoming known. <laughs> It tears at her heart, but Amira believes her 27-year-old sister has also been sold. Even if ISIS gets pushed back from the villages they've taken the women and girls from, the odds will stay stacked against Amira ever finding out where her sister has disappeared to. Paulus Lea RT on the Iraqi-Syrian border.